It's official, we're back. Instead of finding Nemo, we're discovering new ways to get exercise with Coach Lauren, yours truly, and Coach Foes. So, in order to start our warm up, we need to find a coaster, a spot, a piece of tape. Okay, find your spot, two feet, and we're gonna start by warming up our wrists. So we're gonna extend our arm out like we're giving a high five, and we use our opposite hand to gently bring our fingers towards our face. Hold it there, great job. All right, and we're gonna do the other side. High five. And take your other hand and gently pull those fingers towards your face. There you go, good job, nice. Okay, shake it out, shake it out. There you go. All right, now we're gonna take our right leg and we're gonna lift it up and we're gonna give it a big hug into our chest. We're being on our balance, holding it there. Lift as high as you can and lower. Now we're gonna switch to our other side, giving it a big hug into our chest. There you go, and we're gonna move it a little bit faster. Pick up the speed, pick up that knee. And high knees, go, 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 and freeze. And go, 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 freeze. All right, now we are going to have our helicopter just like last time, but we're gonna add a cool jump. So we have our arms out, and we're just gonna swing our arms left and right, side to side. And we're gonna wind up and do a big spin jump. Whoa, all right, let's try that again. On the other side, and wind it up and big spin jump. Awesome job, everyone. Okay, now it's gonna get trickier, okay? So feet apart, and we're gonna do a cross jump. So it ends up making an X with our feet. If this is too tricky, you can just go open, close, apart together. It's totally fine. But it's going to look like this. Our feet go jump across, making an X with our legs and coming back out. And you can try crossing over your other foot. X, up, I, A. X, A. X, A. This is challenging our balance. Whoa. And you can try going faster. And breathe. Awesome job, everyone. Okay, get ready for part two of our warm up. Hey, everyone, welcome back. We're going to complete our dynamic warm up by channeling our inner animal. So, we're going to have two lines a start and a finish on either side of the room, or you can do this outside using chalk or tape. And you might want to have your noodles on hand as well. We are going to start with the cheetah. The cheetah is super fast. I hope you brought your fast feet. Go, go, go. When I say go, he's going to race. No cheating. From start to finish as fast as you can. You can race against someone else or race against yourself, okay? So you might want to have your stopwatch or you can count it out. Ready, set, and go. Nice, super fast like a cheetah. All right, now you can bring in your noodles and we're gonna work on our timing, okay? So he's gonna make it across the other side without getting hit by any of his noodles. Ready, set, go, cheater, go. All right, now we're gonna move on to our next animal. We have the seal. So what's gonna happen is he's going mm -hmm. to have a seat facing away from the finish line. He's gonna have his feet out in front of him together, almost like a mermaid tail. And he's gonna use his upper body, his hands, to glide himself back, okay? Ready, set, go! Pull yourself back, dragging him as well. He's dragging himself or, across, or, all the way across, all the or, way across. Or, nice job. Okay, now we're gonna move on to our frog, okay? So we're gonna get down low on our lily pad and we're gonna jump with two feet up, all the way across. Go, 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 go. Ready, 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 ready. Jumps, jumps, ready. jumps. Good job. Okay, now he's already down low, so we're gonna move to our duck, okay? So his, arm, his arms can rest on his legs just like this and he's gonna walk it forward all the way across. Duck walk all the way, go, 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 go. Get low, get low. Great job. Okay, our next one is called our bear crawl, okay? So we're gonna be down all fours with that bottom up high. And we're walking it forward as 
fast as we can. Ready, set, go, go, go. Bear crawl, bear crawl, bear crawl. Nice job. Okay, now, now we're going to do the snake. Okay, so you're going to lay with your tummy on the ground and you're going to use your forearms to wiggle your body across. Ready, set, go all the way across. All the way across. Go, 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 go. Nice job. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the crab walk, okay? So it's just like defense and basketball. We're working on our side steps, okay? So we've got crab 1.0, okay? So you're gonna have your feet apart, bend your knees, pat those legs down, arms out just like this, and we're gonna go open, close, apart together all the way across. All right, let's see if I can beat the crab here. Ready, set, go. Hey! Nice. All right. Now we have crab 2.0. Okay. So this one, you're gonna sit down. You're gonna plant your feet on the ground and your hands on the ground, and you're gonna push your feet and hands into the ground, lifting your bottom, and you're gonna take it backwards. Ooh, super tricky. We're starting with the trickiest one all the way. Okay. It's gonna get easier because we're gonna go forward. Go, 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 go. crab soccer okay so we're still kicking in a soccer ball just like a regular soccer except instead of standing up we're gonna be a crab okay so you're just kicking the ball you try to get it past the other person go 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 yes all right everyone give it a try all right everyone for the next part of our warm-up you're gonna need either a robe strap a cat toy a PVC pipe, a broomstick, or if you have a pool noodle would be ideal. Okay, so I'm going to give you a quick second to go grab that material. Okay, all right, everyone. Now that we have our noodle or whatever you have available to you at home, we're going to find our spot again. We're going to reach out and hold on to the end of that noodle or rope and we're going to take it down all the way to our hips and then up over our head, behind our back, all the way to our bottom and then bring it back around to the front to your hips. Almost like a half jumper, okay? We're really warming up those shoulders. And one more time. Good job. Now we're going to reach it up over our head and we're going to take it all the way around. So it's going to look like this. We're going to tilt, dip our right shoulder all the way down and then bring our left shoulder down and back around and lead with your right shoulder back up to make a big circle. Let's try that one more time. Dip your noodle down, your left shoulder all the way down and guide it up using those intercostal muscles. Okay, let's go the other direction now. Okay, so dip to our left and follow it up with our right shoulder and then lead it back up with our left shoulder. One more time, circle it all the way down and around. Great job, everyone. Okay, now we are going to place our noodle down on the ground in front of us. Okay, horizontally. We've got Sub-Zero helping us out today. In isolation, he's brought his ice stick. All right, so we're gonna work on our jumps. So we jump with two feet. We're gonna jump forward and backwards over our noodle. Okay, ready, set, go. We jump forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. You can pick up the speed if you want. Okay, 
All right, we're going to balance on our left foot, lifting our right leg up. And ready, big jump over, hop it back. Two more. Whoa. And freeze. You did it. Awesome job. All right, we're going to turn our body to the side. Okay. And we're going to do our side jumps over. Back and forth. Okay, ready, set, go. You're gonna turn the other way, and we're gonna do that again. Big jumps back and forth. Go, 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 and freeze. Awesome job. Now, it's gonna get tricky, because this is our warrior pose, okay? So we're gonna balance on our left foot, lifting our right leg up. We're gonna tilt forward, and we're gonna pick up that noodle. And we're going to lower it back down to the ground and lift back up. We're going to try that in our opposite foot now. So we're going to balance on our right foot, lift your left foot up, left arm out, and reach forward, bring it back up, whoa, steady, and back down. Great balance, everyone. Balance is so important in every sport. Awesome job. All right, now we're going to pick it up. All right, this is called the javelin toss. I want to see how far we can throw it. Tag, you're in it. Great job. All right, everyone. I have some fun games for you utilizing our noodle. Our first game is called Timber. Because that involves catching our noodle before it drops with one or two hands. Working on our hand-eye coordination, our speed and agility, okay? Anticipation, because we don't know which way it's going to fall. If you have an older child, you can start further back. You can also help guide it with an extra little push to make it fall faster. Or you can also guide which way you want it to go if you choose to. So you're going to start your child at a mark made by painter's tape or a spot or some chalk, okay? And you're gonna place the noodle standing right here and just like a falling tree, it's gonna go to Nice job, great catch. All right, let's try that again. Okay, which way is it gonna go? <laughs> That is commitment right there, great job. Okay, one more time. It still doesn't feel good to get poked in the eye. All right, I know accidents do happen, but try your best to keep it below the waist. All right, everyone. So you can think of this as noodle jousting, fencing, or pretend this is your lightsaber, okay? You want to see how many times you can tag the other person. All right, on the mark. Get set and go. Okay. Ah! Okay. Everett. 
Nice job. And we're gonna go straight into tug of war with Batman and see who is stronger. Uh, Coach Batman Warren strong. of Skyhawks or Batman uh. Dark Knight. Okay, so you're gonna wanna use a rope strap, a towel, tape, or chalk to make your line in the middle, okay? You can also use a rope, a rope um, instead of a noodle for this. You're gonna be on either side of the line. We're gonna hold on to the noodle with two hands. And the first person to pull the other person across the line is the winner, okay? On your get set, go. See the, Okay, let's try that again. I lost my grip. This really works on our grip strength too. All right, ready? a basketball and have your noodle on hand for our next game. We're going to play noodle limbo with dribbling. Okay. So. All right, everyone, you can find a hard surface inside, or you can try this one outdoors. We're going to work on our ball handling skills, our dribbling, our control, keeping the ball, getting it lower with faster dribbles, working on our strength, our quads, and our flexibility too, to be able to go under the noodle, okay? So I'm gonna hold it up high first, and he's going to dribble underneath it. Good job, okay? I'm gonna get lower. Here we go. Go, go, go. Nice job. All right, and even lower. How about? Here we go. Good job. Uh-oh. Tricky, tricky. some resistance training. So we're going to find that noodle again and we're going to put it around our waist just like a belt. Okay. And we're going to need another person for this. So we're going to make our way across the room. The person behind you is going to be holding on to either end of your noodle and they're going to be resisting your movement across the room. Okay. So it's working on their upper body strength and your lower body strength. Okay, ready, set, go. And let's switch it. Okay, here we go. Hold on tight and go. Whoa. Whew. That was a lot of fun. Okay, you can time yourself, but we're gonna move on to inchworm. This is tricky, so listen up everyone. Okay. So for inchworm, we're gonna start by walking our hands down our body all the way to the ground. If you can't reach for your toes, just place your hands down a little bit in front of your feet. And then you're gonna walk your hands out to a plank or a push-up position, okay? You're gonna freeze your hands and now we're gonna walk our feet to our hands as close as we can get. Then we stick our feet in glue and we're gonna walk our hands out again. Inching along. Freeze those hands. Now it's time for our feet. And our hands. And our feet. And that's the inchworm. Great job, everyone. Okay, maybe we should have put that in the warm up. Okay, now find your spot again. It's now officially time for cool down. I hope that you like my quarantine looks. I'm trying out some different options. Okay, so this one's really kind of tricky. 
okay? You're gonna reach back, patting yourself on the back, and you're going to take your opposite hand and you're gonna reach for your fingers, trying to hold your own hand, okay? Whoa, that's okay. If you can't, you can also use a towel for this. And let's try switching, okay? So you're gonna pat your, yourself on the back with your opposite hand, and you're gonna reach for that other hand. Reach, 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 hold it there. And let it go, shake it out. Okay, now, arms up, just like a cactus, okay? And we're gonna lean back, lifting our heart, our chest to the sky. Reach, 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 go. Whoa. Good job. Okay, now, we're gonna reach for our elbows. Almost like it's a wrap, okay? And then we're gonna lean forward, and we're just gonna rock side to side, ragdoll. Nice job, everyone. And bring it back up. Okay, now we're going to squat down, channeling our frog again, okay? And we're gonna use our elbows to push our knees out, okay? You can put your hands together or you can spread them out just like this, okay? Hands down. And we're gonna extend our right foot out to the side, toes facing up, okay? Hold it there, hamstring stretch, and bring it back in. And we're gonna go to the other side. Oh, my hip just popped. <laughs> foot up, toes facing up, and bring it back in. Okay, have a seat, plop down, feet out. This is a straddle, okay? We're gonna take both hands and reach to those feet or reach out in front of you. Whoa, but make sure you can get back up, okay? Reach for the ankle or the shin and then try reaching for those toes. Awesome job. Hold it there, hold it there, and then shake it together. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Okay, everyone, and we're gonna spin to a standing position. Here. On the count of three, we are going to say, get fit. Count with me. One, two, three, get fit. 